I started my morning with an ongoing migraine, which I had for a couple of days, but I was also throwing up. I was throwing up quite a lot. Throughout the day, I had fatigue or just tiredness. Um, definitely didn't know what was going on. I was having a lot of tingling and weakness in my arms. I was experiencing numbness, tingling, lots of shooting pains throughout my left arm. It was very hard to detect what exactly was wrong with me. I had no idea that it would actually be anything remotely close to a stroke. I went to my porch, the phone rang. It's my sister. I answered the phone, the FaceTime. She says, hey, how are you doing today? I said, I've been tired all day. I was like, what's up? Talk to your niece, you know, Naomi really wants to talk to you. I got on the phone with Naomi, we're FaceTiming. She was like, hey, TT, you know, we were going back and forth. And um, then she says to me, and I recalled, um, why are you making those faces at me? My sister at that point, she started asking me questions. She saw that I was having a, uh, a stroke possibly. So she went through the whole fast. And if it wasn't for my niece wanting to speak to me, the nurses and the doctors were saying, I probably wouldn't have made it. I started to step out of my bed and I slipped out of the corner and fell to the floor. My daughter uh, called 911. When they took me to the hospital, um, they thought I, the, the mom's not coming back. I had 20% chance of making it. Stroke kills more women than men. It's really all about the timing. You have to act quickly in these situations. I am a survivor of a TIA, also known as a mini stroke. I kept experiencing many strokes and I was diagnosed with Moya Moya disease, which is a cerebrovascular disease. I found out that I needed what they call a cerebral bypass in order to just really extend my life. It took me about two to three months to relearn how to walk, to relearn how to kind of just talk and function again, because I did have a couple of cognitive impairments from it. I've just been grateful to, to be alive and uh, grateful for my family and for my friends and for my community. I know that I'm mentally stronger than I was yesterday. I'm fiercer now than I was before. Be aware of what is going on with your body at any time. To not ignore the signs or the symptoms and don't be afraid to be fierce with your voice.